Welcome. This prime and then this prime energy, which is the energy drinks, which is the cans drinks. In a bruv. Also, apparently, Prime has, like, the wrong electrolytes or whatever, so it doesn't even actually, like, do anything for you. I've heard, anyway. I, uh, I don't think they have LucasAid. I don't really care for LucasAid that much, but, like, TBH, like... Their, uh, America's Fanta kind of tastes like LucasAid. Like, if LucasAid were more, like, carbonated. I actually prefer UK Fanta to US Fanta. TBH... Orange drink. Okay, thank you for the good luck and for stopping by. Um, are you gonna look in the combat arenas for the for a time save? No, nah, not really. It, well, it, it's an energy drink, but it, it tastes like orange drink. Well, hopefully you do, Cotton. Or else I will kill you. Okay, bye bye now. And also, hello, Ryan. How is it going? Uh, I guess kind of like Gatorade. I haven't had Gatorade. I have a bottle of Gatorade and you drink it at some point. Well, I have had one Gatorade before. I had, um,. Some Gatorade from Five Guys, and it tasted like fucking nothing, which is annoying because it smelled good. Uh, it's like not a thing in the US, I don't think. SpongeBob. XQC lost over one million gambling in Vegas. I mean. Bro, literally made over a hundred mil just from just for a con. Not even a, a uh, what's the word? Non-exclusive contract. Yeah, well, why can't it just taste like what it smells like? Because if it tastes like what it smells like, then it'd be really good. It's funny whenever there's been, like, European labels put on American products, and it'll you'd be like, Warning, this shit gives you cancer or something. Bro, how can an American product use more sugars, bro? Next question, what American products are healthy? <laughs> Yo, 
Yeah, but like, what do you think is gonna happen to like 99% of potatoes? They're gonna be turned into potato chips or fries, and then they're not healthy anymore. Which, which, speaking of those European labels, by the way, I did buy a bag of Lay's. There was a European label on it, and it just said, like, this shit contains a chemical that increases chances of cancer. That's cool. Thank you. For sure. I've had uh, the KFC crisps. I don't really, I don't really care for them. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. Dude, is it just me or are the top Twitch streamers like a lot of them people you've never heard of before? Apparently, so you know when uh, Kai, I think his name was, um, became the most subscribed person on Twitch? Which, keep in mind, I never heard of him before either. Until that. But he became the most subscribed streamer on Twitch. And now this guy called uh, Jin... I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like J-Y-N-X-Z-I. And I don't know how to pronounce that, but now he's the most subscribed. I have never heard of him in my life. And then number three is Hassan. I know who Hassan is, but then the next, the, then then the fourth one is Gowls or however the fuck you pronounce it. Never heard of that guy. Then it's Tumblr. Never heard of that guy. No, like Tum, and then, well, Tum, and then and then like the word blur. Uh, but with two hours. Mm. It's hard to be healthy when, like, these cheap, really tasty foods are just, like, shoved in your face everywhere, but... You know... Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, t t Twitter sucks regardless, but yeah, no, that definitely didn't help. Do you mean being skinny, but, like, you eat like you're fat? Yeah, I figured. Um, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm already, I'm not overweight, but I want to lose weight, but I don't want to, like, be healthy. I mean, you know, the occasional apple or whatever the fuck, but, like, generally, I just want to, like, you know, chill. It's, you know, I'm not going to be super concerned about health, or else I'll just, like, never be chill for the rest of my life. Foods can be a big source of happiness, so, yeah. That is quite skinny. I mean, maybe you... I mean... Not all stuff that contains a ton of fat is automatically unhealthy, but yeah, you might want to eat, like, higher fat content stuff.
I don't know if any, like, foods and, like, with, like, high fat content they could just, like, eat. Um. But, like, you know. I feel like people get shamed more for being overweight than underweight. Is, is the thing. Life without fatty food is, like, no fun. Yeah, pretty much my mentality, yeah. Like, you need that comfort food to get through life, you know what I mean? And if it kills me five years sooner, then I still had a better life than living it, like, you know, with nowhere near as much enjoyment, and then living the extra five years just to do the same thing again, you know? For, for that five years, you know? Uh, well, sugar burns in the fat, so sugar stuff would also, like, work. Some people just have, like, insane metabolisms. I had an insane metabolism. I used to be very underweight. Uh, the lightest that I weighed was 115 pounds, and now I weigh, like, 150. I gained pretty significantly in these last, like, four years. Well, is there anything, like, that you could eat that has, like, some fats in it? Alright, oh, yeah, no, I, I'm- I understand I'm very, very picky as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, like, gaining would definitely be beneficial to you, but I don't think it's, like, the end-all be-all. Because if, if the way of doing it were to just be eating unhealthy stuff, then it wouldn't be that much better, you know what I mean? Like, then just... Yeah. Alright, thank you for stopping by and, the good, and for the good look. Dude. So much destruction. But anyway, yeah, uh, um... Yeah, I feel like most people are unhealthy regardless, like, fat or skinny or even just, like, average weight. I feel like... A lot of people are unhealthy from, like, what they eat, and either do realize and don't care, or don't realize, or don't realize quite to the extent, and things like that, you know?
So I guess just, like, live life the way that you want to, as long as it doesn't kill you at fucking 30. As long as you live to a decent age, I feel like you can just be able to do whatever, I guess. Oh, yeah. Especially when, like, a lot of fruit and veg does, just doesn't taste right when it's not in season. The fact that it expires quickly. Like, you know, the low energy that people generally have, so it's hard to make meals with healthy stuff that's, like, you know, it's just very easy to just, like, order food or whatever. Like, yeah, it's just fucking... yeah. Also with, like, sodas and, like, spring water, that's actually tap water, but they don't tell you that. Yeah, yeah the thing is with Costco is that, like, the in yeah, the entire point of it, though, is just, like, you get, like, insane portions of food for, like, cheap. But then that also makes people fat bastards because it's it's too good of a deal to like just not go to not take advantage of, you know what I mean? I've seen videos of people buying like pizza slices there or like a hot dog and a drink and it's like really cheap. And it's just like, you know, it's kinda easy to see how people fall into the temptation. I've seen an article before of, like, you know, like, how to eat healthy or whatever, and it's actually, like, um, if you don't have the energy to, uh, make your own food, then just eat out every day, and it's like, do you think people can fucking afford that? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm very aware of that, it's just that... It still feels like the absolute deal of the century when you go there and you just have, like, stupidly cheap products. I don't like buying in bulk, because it's almost always more than I, like, want. It's why I don't buy, like, massive fucking things of soda, for example. Because if I open the bottles, then I, I gotta, you know, I gotta drink it. I have a budget 4K TV, and it has four lines of dead pixels through it, so I kind of want a new TV. But I don't think it's enough to justify it, honestly. Still, though, that shouldn't have happened. I've only had it for two years, and I haven't done anything to the TV. Yeah, my, uh, my gaming, like, my, my console gaming setup, uh, in a different room. I don't have enough. It has three HDMI ports, but it's not enough. I have one for my Wii, you know, my Switch, PS3, PS4, 360, uh, GameCube, like, it's just, like, yeah, I don't have enough. Series X, PC... Also, the problem with getting, like, a 4K TV... If you can notice, like, a big difference, then it's kind of hard to go back if you haven't needed to go back for whatever reason. Oh, God, dude, I got the bad luck. I think it's a luck anyway. I've heard rumors about the... PS5 Pro. The gates are locked. Uh, 
Kind of bold of them to do that when nobody can even buy a goddamn PS5 anyway, and when you do, there's no games. But it is good if they're trying to, like, improve on ray tracing. Because keep in mind, right, to, to get performance that good, you cannot do that with a PC for the price of the consoles, and the consoles have convenience to them anyway. In the sense that they're pre-built, and they just sort of, you know, plug it in, and, and obviously you got to set it up, you know, the dashboard, but, like, for the most part, it is just plug in, and then, like, after a little bit of setup, it just works. Certainly less complicated than the PC. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's no, uh, there's, there's hardly any exclusives. But that's the same for the Series X as well. The Series X has Game Pass, and it's cheaper than the PS5. That's why I don't really care about the PS5. I see these days, I see used uh, Series X's for like a hundred pound under retail, whereas like PS5's. It's hard to even get them for like used, like roughly the same price as retail sometimes. Well, yeah. It's just that when you factor PlayStation Online and shit like that, and you might very well get a storage expansion as well. It gets to the point where, the, where by the time you're done with the console, you could have bought a good PC. Maybe not get as good a performance. But, you know, could have... You know, but then you have the advantage of having a PC. Because that has its own massive advantages. Just the fact that it's a PC and you can do whatever you want with it. Again, like, yeah, P PCs for that price just cannot do that, but... I feel like, in that sense, though, like, PS5 and Series X are only really good if you want to, like, play the latest games. And, um, considering the game I'm playing right now, you can probably imagine that I'm not too fussed on the latest games. Even when I do play games, like, the most demanding games I play, like, cons well, I say consistently, but, like, the ones I play the most often that are demanding. The shit, like, well, like, Black Ops 3, Zombies, Fortnite. Like, granted, Fortnite got a graphical update and it actually looks way better than it used to. And it's also a lot more demanding than it used to be, but it's still not, like, that demanding. Yeah, it's probably the most demanding game I play is Fortnite, TBH. Um, I actually don't know, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if 4 is, but 3, that might be a bit too old. I don't know. I haven't looked at the list of, like, enhanced games. Wake 2 with Ray Tracing. How did that go? Nice. 
this. Do you remember when people were talking about Minecraft RTX? But you have to you have to use uh, the Bedrock version, I think. I don't have that one. Nice. My my thing though, honestly, like my problem. I was a 1080p 60 FPS peasant. I upgraded my monitor in three ways, right? It's bigger. It can do 1440p and it can do 144 hertz. So I kind of, you know fucked myself a bit, because then I didn't have a graphics card powerful enough, and I had to upgrade from a 1060 to a 3070. So I spent like a thousand pound I just otherwise could have just not spent. But yeah, honestly, I care about uh, frame rate more than... Uh, resolution, TBH. The smoothness of a game, like that, that really makes a big difference to me. And yeah, visual the visuals do too make a bit really big difference. That's that's why I have a budget 4K TV. But like, I don't know, man. You know, as good as the game looks, like I feel like for me it, it needs to like feel really smooth, or else it's just like extremely distracting the entire time if it if it's like not running that smooth. Cool. Yeah, it wasn't it ported to Switch? Yeah. That's that's interesting. I wonder if it actually plays good. But yeah, to be honest, right, if somebody said to me I want to upgrade my frame rate or resolution, like, which one should I do, I would, I would honestly probably just say don't. Because 1080, like, 1080, 60 looks and feels, like, good until you've experienced better. That's the problem. Like, your fucking 1060 or whatever you have, plus, like, kind of old components just all around... They will do you fine for, like, the vast majority of video games if you just accept 1080-60. Performance looks solid. My face when the Switch can actually run a game. There's rumors about, uh, the next Nintendo consoles gonna be in, like, winter 2024. What happened just then? Yeah, it was intentional. It makes it so I don't have to do the one frames and only loses a few seconds compared to get, uh, doing the one frames. But considering I usually miss them, then this saves like a few seconds over not doing the uh, the one frames. So uh, yeah. Also, hello, Red and Riley. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate that. Hope your day's been good. 
It feels like modern games are meant to be played in higher resolutions now. Post processing and temporal anti aliasing. I can kind of agree with that. But again, if you've never experienced better than 1080 you probably won't you probably won't even know. Probably won't even know what you're missing out on. It's too good to switch back. Like, it's kind of like when you make the switch from a hard drive to SSD. Like, I knew it was going to be a big a big difference, but dude, I, I was not ready. Right? Like, I upgraded, like, everything in one go, ex except my graphics card. That was, like, the only thing I didn't upgrade. I even got a new keyboard, too. And I got brand new components, SSD and everything, and wow. Like, first ever time we booted up Windows took, like, 16 seconds. When I was used to, like, a minute, plus then it'd take another, like, two minutes for programs to start functioning properly. Just makes the whole fucking thing snappier. It makes it loads a lot faster as well. It's just, like, so good. I checked the Xbox Series X enhanced thing for Black Ops 3, and apparently none of the Black Ops are even on there except for Cold War. Like, for, uh, enhancements. I think. Well, yeah, another thing as well is if you have the eye for frame rate and graphics resolution. Some people say that they can't tell the difference between 60 and, like, 100 and whatever, and I don't really get how you can't see the difference. It might unironically be something wrong with your eyes, but, like, I mean, hey, if you can't tell the difference, then why spend the money to get, you know? Or they, they can only see 1440p making, like, a small difference. For me, the difference is pretty fucking big, but somebody might think it's, like, small. I care a lot about resolution and shit. Um, I'm using component cables for this Xbox, anyway, and they were expensive, too. And it, it allows me to use 480p instead of 480i, and the game looks so much better, dude. This, like, my capture looks amazing. And in theory, I could even make it better. Yeah, that's pretty fucking stupid. I mean, the frame rate's a big deal, but still, like, bruh. Uh, Sonic Generations runs good, too. It has graphical issues um, in some parts, but the frame rate's perfect. I remember playing... Uh, I forgot what that one level's called, but it would, like, lag with the window section. Or the, yeah, the window section. And, um, on Series X, it doesn't look like it drops a frame. Actually, a very good way to play a game. I have her on PC, but honestly, I kind of rather just play on Series X. Yeah. I wonder why you'd only put in partial effort and not, like, you know, full effort. I feel like bumping the resolution probably wouldn't even be that hard. Yeah. I have experienced it on my 4K TV, and it looks pretty good. Um, however, when I played it on stream before, like, I was using a 1080p capture card, so I had to use 1080p. I had, like, this big problem before with, like, 360 and OG game. No, not OG games. 360 games were, like, unplayable. They were a graphical fucking mess. But I think it's because I had, like, HDR on or some shit. How 
You know what would have been nice? Um, I have rare replay on Xbox One. Like, it would have been cool if that was enhanced because um, Banjo Kazooie and Tui still run at 30. I played quite a bit of Kazooie and Tui, but I, like, that's all I was using my Xbox for, but I kind of gave up, like, Jolly Roger Lagoon and Terry Dactyland fucking killed me, and uh, as for Banjo Kazooie, I hate that you have to, like, practically complete the game to beat it, it's so annoying. This is just stuff I don't want to do, but I have to. Yeah, I know that. Just uh, 60 FPS would have been would have been pretty cool. You missed the rock side split clicks. We'll see, I can do that in a bit. I, I didn't get far enough of Grunty Industries. Honestly, I just like the game in Pterodactyl Land. Like, I had to like. Okay, so I had to like make a dinosaur like big again. So I had to like talk to the characters and it took forever. Then switch to Mumbo. So I had to walk all the way to Mumbo. Then uh, switch. And then walk my ass back, and then watch a long-ass cutscene of turning a dinosaur back to, like, big size. I missed the combat warp, and now the run is fucking dead, and I just wasted my run. Actually, no, I didn't kill the run, but it's still pretty bad now. That is fucking embarrassing, dude. Minus five on the burst. And that was just bad. Right, I see. Yeah, and then I need to, like, get another dinosaur from fucking... I don't even remember where to... And, and then I gotta use Mumbo again, I think, and then... Oh my god. All, and then you, and then I think you gotta do something else as well, and then all of that is for like one jiggy. I, I have spent like an hour and a half in Pterodactyl Land, and I do not have a single jiggy. I do not know what to do. I do not know where to go. It is like, I fucking hate that level so much. And it seems like everybody agrees with me. I, I swear to God, like nobody defends that level. Even the people who really like Banjo Two, I swear to God, like no one defends it. Everything looks the same, and it's all way too big. They made it big just for the T-Rex, and even though you use it for, like, one fucking Jiggy. I see clicks. I wasn't planning on 100%ing either of them, but I genuinely, like, I'm just at a point with Tui where I just can't take it anymore. Like, I, I, hell, I wanted to play Tui more than Kazooie, I, I it, it was at a point where I had more time in Tui than Kazooie, and I was enjoying it more, and then, disaster struck.
Yeah, I know it's not for mine chat cloaks. I just, uh, yeah. Why can't someone say that to me? I miss 150 manlies. And then, like, there's, like, that shock boss or whatever, and, like, I didn't... It's so hard to control, and then, like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's annoying, because I do genuinely like quite a lot of aspects of the game. There's something about it that does something for me that Kazooie does not, but it's just... Uh... We need some sort of, like, better banjo Tui mod or something that makes the game, like, way better. It, you know, maybe if you got a, you know, dude. Well, you, you remember when I explained that dinosaur, the dinosaur mission? Um, in Pterodactyl. If that was Banjo-Kazooie, that'd literally give you, like, four fucking jiggies. The pacing is just, like, significantly slower. And then there was, like, um... It's like this one part where I had to, like, turn into dynamite to, like, free an alien. And then, later on in the game, I had to, like, interact with the alien. And then I play a minigame, and the minigame lasts for, like, three goddamn minutes or something. And it's just, like, an on-rails thing. And, um... I keep barely missing the point threshold, so I can't get a fucking jiggy from him. Nice. Um, I haven't bought an, a new capture card. I mean, it, it's just gonna. This capture card is just gonna keep doing it. It's just like when it, when it feels like it, and I guess it doesn't feel like it today. I'm going to CEX next week. Hopefully, there'll be a capture card there I can buy. Also, hello. Also, I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I prefer Banjo-Kazooie's music as well. But again, like, th there are some things that, uh, Tui does that I really prefer. Like, they get way more abilities now, both Banjo and, and Kazooie. And, like, I feel like it more so justifies Banjo as a character, because, like, in the original game, Banjo did fuck all. He was being carried by that fucking bird. But now I feel like he's much more justified as a playable character now. I oh, know, yeah, I'm very aware that the N64 version is terrible. Um, although, if, if we were to compare N uh, the N64 versions, I would still give uh, Tui props for not taking notes away from you after you die, because the fact that, like, Kazooie does that is insane. Like, that, sh that shit does not fly in 2023, bro. That is terrible. And you know what's funny as well about Tui on N64? Um, for some reason, it's a higher resolution than Kazooie. And I don't know why, because it runs like shit. You would have thought they would decrease the resolution. Slipping, slipping, slipping. Nah, well, I was just comparing uh, the N64 versions, but yeah, like... 
but when it comes to the Xbox versions, yeah, they both have that anyway. But yeah. Um, hello, Wilcon. Hope you've been doing well in your absence. Hope you've grown and changed as a person. But yeah, I'm, I'm just talking about like Kazooie and Tui and. Yeah, like, one thing I love about Tui is that the, the interconnected, like, world, it, it's fucking crazy how much, like, effort they put into it. It's insane. They make if you know, the problem with games like Super Mario 64 is that these worlds just sort of exist for no reason, whereas Tui, like, really tries, really tries to make it very clear that it's all connected. Really makes it feel, like, immersive, I guess. You know, it's fucking cool. Also, I forgot to go to Cirque, so I, I gotta do that after this. Well, Lokan, I mean, is it better than your situation before? I, I can't believe that game runs without the fucking expansion pack. That is actually insane. That is like the most pointless ass thing ever. Oh. Never mind. Where you going? A beach house. Bro, you're going everywhere, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, Ryan. I mean, like, I mean, I can I can say a lot of shit about Tui, but like, man, that game is really fucking impressive for the N64. It looks really good, and... At the time, the game was considered just like, better Kazooie. I remember like, years ago, it was just like, well... You know, Kazooie's got more charm, but Tui's just bigger and better in, like, every way. And now the consensus is Tui fucking sucks dick. Which is unfortunate, because I don't feel like it deserves uh, quite that much hate. I like that every world is, like, a big boss. I like how interconnected it is. I like that Banjo and Kazooie have so many more moves. And I, I, li I, like, the, I like the hub world, too. Just a lot of little things I appreciate about the game. More varied gameplay as well. And in terms of percentage, you need less jiggies to beat the game, which... Thank God, because they they went really overkill with Kazooie. You have to, like, practically 100% the game to beat it. It's, like, so stupid. It's the shittiest ever. So really, not much has changed. It's kind of funny, because you said that you missed, like, a stream or something, and then I was like... Did your power go out? And then you didn't respond, which made me assume that your power went out again. I think that was the last message you typed in my server, was... Complaining about, like, the power or something. Yeah, Ryan, I watched a video before about, like, how much backtracking is required to beat Tui. And I think it was only, without glitches or, any, or exploits, I think it was only, like, a few jiggies, which is actually pretty surprising. However, the problem with that, though, is that you need to, like, know what you're doing. That's the problem. You need to, you, I feel like Tui is a better game if you know where everything is, and, like, you know how to do everything as conveniently as possible. Whereas the fun of Kazooie is the exploration shit. Whereas in Tui, it's like, you know, it, just playing through the worlds is the fun. 
but not when you don't know what the hell you're doing. Well, well, Khan, you'll be back in like two weeks, bro. Just a little more. Three fifty A, that's actually pretty fast, yeah. Without fast corkscrew, yeah, that's pretty good. Congratulations. Well yeah, the uh the yeah, the thing in the video was that like if you do a tiny bit of exploitation then it's you know. Um and then if you do uh uh glitches and exploits and just a bunch of other stuff that you can get a lot more even but again you have to like know what you're doing ahead of time also my oh, dude fuck off My manly count is, like, really low. Well, the, uh, yeah, you don't need to backtrack. It's just that it gets to a point where you get to a level like fucking Pterodactyl and you don't know what to do, and you get desperate, and you go to other levels, and then, yeah. Pain and Agony. I need a Banjo Tui mod that lets you just delete Pterodactyl Land for real. Is that the one where you have to, like, absolutely mash the fuck out of the A button for? Because in the second race, I've heard that it's so bad that people, like, get really bad wrist pain from it. I mean, uh, the review I watched before, um, they, j they just straight up said that they used a turbo controller for it, and, you know, I don't blame them. I'm not a fast masher, so I really had to give it my all in the first race. I fucking mashed, bro. Like, why, why, why did it, bruh? And also, why does every Mumbo cutscene take, like, 5,000 years? And it, and it loops the same, like, four seconds of music over and over again. It is, like, bruh. Also, hello, iPie. Hope you're having a fantastic day, bro. Dude, I fucking ate shit and gask, bro. Five years, my god. Me about to buy an Xbox Turbo controller just so I can beat some fucking. Yeah. Is it bad that I once had thoughts about doing a Banjo Tooie one hundred percent speedrun? Which, by the way, the fastest version is N sixty four. I don't know how the hell that is. I mean, it must it must be because it has like glitches and shit unique uh, unique to that version. But yeah, it's kind of funny that that slow ass, horrible, laggy version is fast. That is, like, ag actually tragic. That is, like, the most unfortunate thing ever. The loads and frame rate are so good on Xbox, but, like, they... <laughs> they just fucking... You know what I'm really surprised by? I'm really surprised that Kazooie... Because Konka got the remake treatment. I'm surprised that Kazooie and Tui never got it, but, like, for the original Xbox. How are you going to do that, Will Khan Brev? Crashed movie moment. I'm having a day, yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah, on 360, yeah, like, the way to fix that is either to get another Xbox or get another disc. That's, that's usually how it goes. 
Well, nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts is practically not even a Banjo Kazooie game. Like, apparently, the game's not even bad. Is literally just like not Banjo Kazooie. Uh. IP for Android. That'd be kind of nuts. That kind of sucks, but hey, I mean, to be fair, Banjo Kazooie is very good as is. To be honest, it's one of the. It, it's got to be within like the top like five best like aging N sixty four games. Like, honestly, yeah, the notes reset on death, which is gay. But that's like the only major thing, really. I mean, it's it it looks really good, and it doesn't drop frames that often, and it's really big. A lot of people say that it's, like, you know, a lot, well, I, I think it is better than Super Mario 64, because SM64, like, booting you out and forced to play, like, the, the beginning of the stages, like, every single time is, like, stupid. I would want to make a mod, except I don't want to. I just have ideas. And luckily, Wilcon made a jail mod for me, so... Clearly, I got the bus and ideas, and then the mod doesn't make the mod, and that's, like, the relationship that we got going on. Creature modding is, like... It's not gonna never happen, but I, I just don't see it happening anytime soon. That is unfortunate, Latte. Dude, those gas jumps are so bad. Hmm. I guess it's only a matter of time then. Still, I think it'll take a really long time to be as, like, good as IP, but even just being able to make basic levels would be cool. Because Creature's a cool game. Um, I think it's held back a lot by, like, all, like the one quintillion cutscenes that the game has and, like, Force minigames and shit. So you could, I definitely, you could definitely make the game, like, way better with, like, some custom hacks. I don't have any of that shit that really... Like, bogs it down, you know? Do I think modding is at his most popular right now? Mm, I don't know about, like, right... I mean, I don't know. This year, probably. I think the modding scene's only gonna get bigger and bigger as well. Fifty nine thirty four is insane. That is so fast. It's kind of annoying how good this run is because I forgot the combat warp in Nathal Man and had to kill myself to respawn so that I could grab the warp. And that is like the only mistake in this run. <laughs> Like, this run is like unironically kind of similar in quality to my no pull storage run at this point. Except that th that happened in Nathal Man, which is really fucking annoying. Lam who in movie mod. So true. Just replace all the voice lines with shit that he says. Can we get like AI Lam who? That'd be pretty funny. I 
I swear I saw him typing in the modding server a little bit, like, ago. Now, if we're talking actually dead, the Minecraft freak. He's literally like, he's like Call of, uh, he's like Call of movie modding. And then, and then you just kind of die, just like Cole. There isn't a star for me. That is very spooky, le creepy pasta, like a boss. All right, that was actually two fifty four is really good. My P my best ever is a 253. It's either a 253 or a 252. Uh, where is my Sunday dragon? Okay, yeah, no, it, I have a 252, so 254 is very good in a run. I think 254 might be the fastest I've gone in a run. It's kind of funny that, um, people, like, when we made the ring challenge IELs, like, people play them for, like, a second, and then, like, they did, like, one or two decent attempts, and they just gave up. If you look back at them, you could probably beat all of them by, like, a second plus. Would seriously not be surprised at all. Like, enough time has passed. Well, especially weenies, um, with, like, the fast, like, nitro ramp strat, like, you, like, I think you go up it twice, so you can literally save... No, 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 you go up at once. But that's still, like, you know, that's still a quarter of a second of time save. You know, I'm sure you can get to the next second in that. There's a little bit. You get used to it, though. <laughs> I just realized that uh, into this segment, I'm barely playing a minute off Summer Burst. And that was with the mistaken now that I'm in. If it weren't for that, then it w I would be playing like 45 seconds off the Summer Burst, which is like actually insane. This is, this is a god run. Other than that one thing. But in terms of like actual skill, like this is very much a god run. And earlier, I think I figured out how to stop Plank Spongebob from being fucking cringe. Like, I'm pretty sure I did anyway, so... If I did, then that's great. Then it's, you know, that's very in my favor then. If, if it wasn't a coincidence. Yeah, with, like, optimal nitro management and stuff as well. Like, I definitely think that the... Rings have a way to go. Well, well, Con, you're on audio only, so I guess I'll. I'm uh, minus 34 on my PB right now in Sunday 2. Best possible time, 2.15.10. My PB is 2.17.14. Yeah, I pay. Well, it'd be pretty big. I mean, if we could just instantly go to Macho as well, that'd be insane, too. 
Uh, the time save. Um, so you know now that we're in Bungie Ball, the save's like a uh, second and a half. We couldn't do it in no pause storage because it's set up ball storage and we're crashing Sunday. However, I realized that the reason why it was crashing was because of SCDA Sponge Ball. So if you do SCDA Sponge Ball later in the run, then you can do Nathom and Bungie Ball. And if you're going to do that, you might as well also do Cirque and Floating Block and BBBH Throwing Fruit later in the run as well. Which means now that SCDA 2 and BBBH 2 are now significantly later into the run. Um, and... You get to do guest jumps like three and a half minutes sooner. So yeah, reroute. Uh, after factoring the slower menuing, it saves, like, a second. Uh, like, a little, like, 1.1 seconds or something. So if I just get a decent bungee ball, I'll save, like, half a second plus. And for doing guest jumps three and a half minutes faster, I do genuinely think that's worth it. The only thing is I have to wipe, like, four or five golds. No, we, we know which tokens are, like, fast and slow and shit. We'll never be able to get rid of the tokens. Ahead. Like... In late game, the only bat tracking tokens we get are SCDA floating block, which is like a minute 20 something, and hold on. SCDA floating block, which is like a minute 20 something, um, SCDA sponge bowl, which is like a minute, and uh, guest two, which is like a minute and a half. Hello, six. How you doing today? I had to change my hundo splits, like, super significantly. I think it was just before mag. Um, I had to change them significantly to save, like, half a second of, of uh, menuing and shit. And the move, like, the, I had to do so much menu. It took, like, a whole night of just, like, doing that. How about the reroute where I fuck you, mom? Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, six. I saw that. It might be just like publicity stunt or something. I don't know. Dude, okay. I don't know how I got the high for that. But this is very, very significant. If I can get the last spiral skip, then this will be extremely significant. Yeah, six, I agree. Clout chases. Okay, so this is the third time ever where I've gone every spiral skip and every Sunday jump. The third time ever. And that would have been a 253 probably if I didn't get hit by the fucking gumballs.
This run is so good. I think I fixed Blank Sponge if you will. I tried, like, hitting the, like, the very, like, far right corner of, like, the thing. And it, I did that and it worked, like, six times in a row, so I just have to assume that that's a strat. Yeah, clicks. Um, hold on. And this is about to be like a two sixteen. So I'm gonna save time here as well. Um, Uh, what was I gonna say? Also, I, I'm not figuring out that calculation. Oh, yeah. On um, this run, I've made, like, no notable mistakes, except for a really fucking stupid one in Now the Women. And other than that, like, this is, like, almost on the same level as, like, that No Polar Storage run. Now, why would you do that? Dude, I got a 215. I'm minus 54. Yeah, no, the mistake I made in Nava Man cost me like 20 seconds. And it was like the easiest thing to not do in the entire universe. It was literally grabbing the fucking Nava Man combat warp. You know what you do to grab the combat warp? You turn right and then jump and then. Turn around and jump again. That's literally what you do. I had to, I real, I had to like purposely miss cutscene skips so that I could then like fucking go and grab the warp. Like literally lost like twenty seconds from that. If I, if I do my best possible time, would still be two fourteen. It'd be, it'd be, it literally, it'd still be two fourteen. And it could realistically be 214 out of this split. And probably even Rock Slide 2 as well. Like, that is actually insane. There has been, like, a pseudo fake ring here before, technically. Autism. What? Right. Also, thank you, Lenny. Yeah, this run's really good. It's only Gask, but there was like a pseudo fake ring equivalent here before, where like the door... You know, you know, like the door they go through like twice, it literally just like didn't open for someone. So it's like a fake ring equivalent. Uh, this one. I don't know if it was on the way there or on the way out, but, yeah, whichever way, it just didn't open. It was on 360, so it could potentially have just been, like, a 360 quirk, but... Either way, I think that's, like, one of those, like, one in a million things that just, like, never happens again, you know? Your mum should go away. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay, that was like, my guitar was like a little slow. XD boost hasn't been in the run for like a century because, um, it can save time, but you need to have like really, really good RNG. And even if you get the really good RNG, it's still hard. I, yeah, I implemented it for a little bit in 2020 until I realized it was fucking stupid. You, you literally, like, you can't even, like, predict the RNG because they can walk wherever they want. Like, it's really bad. It's just, like, it's complete luck when, like, when you walk there, like, where they go. So you can't even, like, predict it ahead of time. Like, you actually need to dedicate yourself to it. Well, you don't have to. You can just do the Y plus R jumps, but you know what I mean. Like... Well, yeah, it's still fast. It's just, it just would barely save anything, even if you got it. So, like, a second... There is also, um, Patrick XD boost and no pull storage. However, that'll also never be done because that is even worse on the RNG and the jump is extremely hard. Because you have to do it as Patrick. But if you did do it and you got good RNG, that would save like a, a second and a half. But it'll never be done in runs because it has no consistency to it whatsoever. Even if the RNG were 100% consistent, it's still really fucking hard. Like, it's- you can only barely touch the trigger, it's so bad, dude. Uh. Hello, emulating, thank you for the good luck. Yeah, no, the, it doesn't show. Oh, wait, then why did I respond? I, I could have just not responded to- Okay, well, my name's Jeff. You're, you're going down, like, a trench. I don't, I don't really need- Well, you mean, like, cruise boost, but with, like, hot wheel? Constantly movie. That's my life. This game is okay, I suppose, but where's the cruise boosting? Where's my UCB? Yeah, I ran Shar in 2018. Well, I tried to run it in like 2014, didn't really go well, but yeah, no, I've ran it in 2018. Yeah, fuck. The super jumps are fucking toxic latte, bro. I, I really gave it a go, and they're just like, yeah, it's... But I fell off in Shaw because everybody else got good, and so my time is like terrible now. It was like pretty alright when I got it. So many choices, so little time. Well, yeah, I am Latte. I need three upgrade points, only have one. Alright, well, Khan, I'll play all of the rest of the mods on my computer now. Thanks for the heads up.
Oh boy, my favorite. What's better than Rock Slide? Damn, Wokan has like 30 seconds of delay, bro. He's really getting the Twitch Mobile experience right now. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at like the the activity of SRC in a while, so I don't know. Because because I mean the top top games are just like some Mario games, some Zelda games, Minecraft, and a shit ton of Roblox. So I, I don't know like what the most popular licensed game would be. Uh, he needs to play more movie. Wokan is not enjoying life right now. Every, like, minute that passes, he probably gets an extra, like, two seconds of delay, bro. Yeah, five is, like, pretty good. I used to have artificial delay... So my capture card had like a second of delay, my old one. So I delayed everything else on top of this. My stream had like an extra second of artificial delay, but now it doesn't. My capture card ha literally has like one or two. It has like two frames of delay. So I just I just set everything else's delay to zero because it it looks synced anyway. Like you can't tell. So yeah. Really? That's kind of nuts. Then again, when you have gambling money, I guess you can do whatever you want. Make as good of a service as you want. Dude, I missed the patty. That's actually really fucking bad. Uh, that's not good, bro. My capture card randomly had delay, and then it had none, and then it randomly got the delay back, and I was never able to fix it. Why did I do that? Now I'm gonna have even less manlies. Dude, I fucked myself. Like, I actually have fucked myself really- I mean, I can probably get around this, but like... Wow. This is really bad. To put into perspective how low my manly count is, right? I think uh, in ye in yesterday's, no, the day before I had a run going. I had enough manlies um, by the end of Rock Slide Ring. And right now, I have 15, 1400 less than that, and I'm not even, and I'm, like, almost done with Ring. Uh, it could, it could lose me a significant amount of time, which could kill the run, yeah. Well, okay, so what it essentially comes down to is that the extra upgrades I get in this run, a spin, which you need, you need to upgrade a spin, it saves a lot, and health, and health. I mean, good luck surviving now, though, man, combat. Chances are I'll lose a bunch of time if I... Because what'll happen is I'll just get... I'll just have to run to get health more often, so I'll lose a bunch of time. I'd have to, like, play so good for it to, for the health to, like, not matter. Which is why you should always upgrade health. Dude, I'm 1100 down. <sighs> Hello, Arkham. Thank you for the good luck. Shrimply subscribed to me. I lost all my speed for no reason again. I'm doing this because I don't trust the speed I have. Uh, 
I'm not gonna have enough to upgrade by, uh... By Depression Combat, which is, like, fine, but I'm gonna lose a bit of time from that. It means I'll have to sit through an extra lag spike, and I'll have to do more upgrade menuing. That actually be kind of bussing, depending on how it's done. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to just skip the uh, depression split, which is fine. Certainly or not. God, Rock Slide is so fucking slow, by the way. I'll tell you when I have a minute left of Rock Slide, roughly. I gotta do the, I gotta do the buffers, but yeah, for the most part, it's autopilot. Dude, I'm, like, barely sure. Dude, I need 50. Okay, I kind of have an idea, actually, then. Doesn't wave one... Oh, fuck, how much... How many enemies are in wave one in depression? I could just upgrade in depression, because if I can kill... If I can get enough before the Gooba guys spawn, or before I would like to spin them, then I can literally just, like... Then it'll be a non-issue. You get one per enemy. I think I should be okay. Realistically. Yeah, so if I can get enough before I would like spin to hit the peanut guys. Because a lot, a lot of them just get bold. Then I can upgrade and have it not only not really matter, but then, like, compared to if I had enough. Then I won't have to upgrade in BBBH2. And then I won't suffer a second lag spike. think it is because of uh, you have to kill all the enemies in BBBH
Well, what what time loss could there possibly be in guitar? Even if I somehow lost like a, a half a second, or like, do I really need to know that I lost it specifically there? I'm not a battle runner. Tell you that. Um, like two BBBH, pro I think. I stream to like 10 o'clock. However, we have a run going, so uh, yeah. TBH. Yeah, I, I stream from like four to ten. Dude, that was close to the gold. I have no idea how. That was not a very good. I mean, it was, it was an okay-ish combat, but like. Didn't think it was that good, fucking hell. And now, you know what the annoying thing is? I don't need any of these manlies here. I can just ignore all of them and save frames. Um, well, I mean, I don't know. This run is on, like, theoretical 215 pace. That would absolutely kill the category. I just wanted a... I wanted a 216, and then I was going to figure out what I wanted to do after that, but... I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll just see what happens with this run. And then I can kind of gauge, like, if this is, like, the GOAT run or not. wall jumps, you can just not do the wall jumps. You just do wall jump skip, bro.
Talking about Canyon Skip, yeah. Oh, break box, sad. La mama named Jeff. Yeah, it's called Electric Bash. It, the problem is that, like, I need to try and, like, not hit the buttons as fast as possible with guitar, or else um, I will be off cycle, so it's, like, kind of hard to try and estimate shit. Please don't respawn. All right, good. Man, I could have I could have deflected that, and I th I thought it had already like landed on the ground. That's why I didn't even like try to spin. Like he delayed a shot a little bit, I think, or something. I don't know. I don't know if the spitters can have like variance with like the spit. I always just assumed it was based off like your distance and shit, but it might be random. I don't know. I've actually never thought about it really. Where did you come from? Okay, that sucks, but... Yeah, well, when monsters skip, there's like a thousand setups that you can do, so it's always... Dude, the same thing happened as earlier. But yeah, there's always just like a bunch of shit you can try. Fuck, dude.
This isn't great, but this is certainly doable. I'm gonna save in time, at least. I kind of really want 215, but it'd be pretty hard. But like, if if the if the combat is good, then my only concern is uh, playing SpongeBob really. Like, I, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know the 215 was possible. This is like a run that makes you realize an entire minute barrier is possible. I, w I was honestly, like, I didn't know exactly what I was going for, but I figured like a 216 4X or something would be, like, good. Because if I lose this now, then honestly, I don't even, like... Ugh, I don't even know at that point, because I... <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't forgive myself unless I got a 215. Uh, if this run dies entirely, but... I don't know. That'd be so hard to get. I mean, like, in this run, the, like, the most no... Well, the Navo Men thing was terrible, but, like, every... Like, every other mistake is so, like, whatever. It feels like it's finally all, like, coming together, you know, so I don't want to fuck it up. I wouldn't say half, but I, th I feel like a lot of his issues, like, yeah, with either to do a GameCube or just things that are pretty exaggerated or, you know. Some of them are just, like, not true, but yeah. It's really easy to nitro hold in weenie on accident. Yeah, I've done quite a few. They're decent uh, practice. But I've never gone for like a world record or anything. I mean, I, I, mean, I have the guess uh, Xbox world record, if that means anything. My favorite thing about Weenie is that Mindy takes like three seconds to talk to you for no reason. Wait, what do you say about combos? I just realized how long BBBH actually is in this category. If you add BBBH1, then the whole fucking thing is like 930 something. It's actually kind of insane. Yeah, she does do that. That actually is a Mindy moment.
true. I do not trust myself on the road. Well, after a lot of experience in Weenie, you just kind of know, like, what you can and can't do here, you know? I don't need one to drive a sandwich. I've lost many, many runs to rings and combats. Many. Including back in the day. 129 pace run in depression combat. Died to the literal very last enemy. Kill yourself, Latte. Also, um, yeah, I can't drive cars. are fucking expensive, bro. Hello, Cack. How are you, you doing today? Is it going to take me up or down? Okay. Fucking hell, Mindy. You gonna stare me all day? Beat the racket. The, the problem is, though, is that, like, I'm the only person who could beat the record. Like, because the, the whole point of, like, beat the record is that you're supposed to be, like, a bunch of people going for it. And, and even the people who are least qualified, if they got, like, absolute god tier run, then they, like, could, like, scrape something. But that's not the case with movie, because nobody's willing to put a full billion hours into this game, which makes complete sense, I'm just saying. Movie runners when they have to play two and a half minutes off the sum of best. Um, I don't think so. Quits game. If you want to beat one of my runs, I think the easiest one to beat is probably, um... Considering you're on 360, um, probably... Well, probably this, actually. <laughs> oh, no, 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 ETU. ETU. Uh, my ETU runs bad. Really bad. Uh, it's not fast for AT, but my run is not very good, so it'd, like, theoretically be the easiest to beat, probably, but, well, but then I realize ETU exists. Um... I don't know 
if you could without weaning out of bounds. I don't know. Three sixty would be fast in all world tokens. Cause there's no driving, but that's but then you like the lag is way harder, so Actually, I don't even think it would be faster, because you have to, like, cheat, uh, cheat, you have to lag by opening up the menu, so. It's, you know, also, Frogfish, Rocks, I never been. No, my, my PB didn't do weenie out of bounds, but I'm saying the beta you probably needed to do weenie out of bounds, because, like, you'd be at a big disadvantage by playing on OG, uh, 360. Okay, if it weren't for that ending just then, that would have been, like, the fastest wave one you've ever seen in your fucking life. This might unironically be the longest I've gone without getting hit here, I'm not even joking. Okay, well I got hit there, but th that was at that was definitely the longest I've ever gone without getting hit. Like this this is probably on gold post. Thank you for the good luck, Zoe. When they stand there and laugh, it just, like, loses quite a bit. Because they don't come towards you. Although it does mean that you can get more shots in before they hit you again, so it's, like, kind of a double-edged sword, but it's still not ideal in theory.
ooze macho. Don't fuck up the fucking guitar glide, please, man. Fucked it up like past like three or four runs, it's gotta fucking work eventually, man. Okay, I got really nervous and I have like way too much high, but I'm only losing a couple seconds from that. This front is so fucking good, man. What the fuck? I fucking forgot the the warp to now them in combat, and I had to kill myself, and I lost like 20 seconds. And this run is this good. If that didn't happen, this would like be in contention with like my best ever run potentially. Like what the fuck? Why is this run so amazing? I'm playing a minute 33 off the sum of best, and 20 seconds of that was so avoidable. For two hours of gameplay? What the fuck, man? I can get hit in Neptune as well. As long as it's not like at the very end of a cycle, I can get hit in Neptune. If I get a 215, I'm so fucking done with this category forever, bro. Until there's like a billion time saves. Like, I will s I'll be so done. And it'll feel so good to be done with it. The only problem is, I don't really know what to do after this, because my Hundo run is still pretty good. I might have to coast on category extensions for a while, I'm not sure. Uh, but if I can finally be done with this fucking cat, I know I haven't played this category for as long as the other ones, comparatively, but like... This category is so fucking draining. Even compared to Hundo, because Hundo forces you to, like, think more, and, like, and there's, like, variety with, like, the extras and shit. So all, all that needs to happen now, I don't fail Knucklehead Ring, I don't get hit in Neptune, and my capture card doesn't disconnect. That's all that needs to happen for the next fucking, like, 14 minutes. And with every second, I get closer and closer to the goal. I don't give a fuck if I get zero fucking middle doors. Just give me to the fucking end, bro. Uh, if I kill, like, every movie category, I plan to run battle. The problem with running battle is that there's a lot less, like, downtime to just, like, talk to the chat. But it's, like, the next best thing I can do. I wouldn't do GameCube any percent, I'd do Xbox any percent. Oh. I'd do the new one. That's why I gotta get fucking 58 in battle before it's too late.
I would I would I I was gonna do Sky's route, yes. Because Sky's route is like way easier, but only like a, a minute or two of time loss. Like it's it's uh, really good for getting back into the game. Because it, it just completely avoids Larry and uh, Guppy. So. And it does, uh, like, m a lot of Mimile, like, early. The only bad thing about Sky's Route is the second crabs do, but that's just what everybody's doing. Because it's, it's, like, in theory, it's, like, extremely fast. In theory, it's, like, a fucking, well, like, a 12-second spatula or something. It's, like, it's insane. And even if it, even if you fuck it up a bit, like, compared to alternate strats at that point, uh, spatulas, like, there aren't that many alternative, like... You can fuck it up quite a bit, and it's still, like, your fastest option, so it's, like, worth doing. Yeah, Sky got 46. I'd probably, like, try and do that route and get 46, or if I can get a 47, and then at that point I've grinded, like, the UCBs, uh, maybe. Like, I don't know. Just, just, when getting back into the game, I should not try to do fucking UCBs, like, obviously, but that's probably a given. I just gotta, like, learn Sky's route, and then I'll be fine, I think. Hey, I got middle door. Alright, well, Khan, goodbye, sir. You might miss the 215. Very sad. Thank God your mum is leaving. Memory late is cool, but like it's also kind of aids like to do fast or like, like the bash strat that they do to get up to prawn. Like it's really aids. Is this gonna be a two twenty? Okay, well, very close. Yeah, clam skip. I, like, I see people fuck it up all the time. It looks really hard. It's pretty, like, stupid precise. I bet I bet if you have, like, a very slightly slow CB, it probably makes it, like, even harder as well. Or if not, like, maybe even impossible. Well, my, my monitor, I'm using a monitor, but either way, like... I, my Xbox is modded to be able to play NTSC games, and even if it wasn't, like, I, I, if, if I just have a US copy of Battle on my hard drive, then it'll play the US version, like, it'll play completely fine. So, it's nothing to worry about. And, on top of all that, my hard drive is, like, the fastest model. So, I'm, like, already set to play that game. I don't know what it is, it's just the fastest, it's like tied the fat, like, well yeah, it is the fastest model, I'm sure it is, but like how fast the loads are. If you camp a pop a spawn point in Nathal and then combat, they don't spawn. Shit, bro, do we need visual? Well, killing the two of them is like pretty, it isn't too caught, I mean... I guess that's something good to keep in mind, but if you, like, barely miss, you can take damage, and then and then you'll teleport, and that'll just, like, be really fucky. So I don't know if that's, like, worth it. I don't know, we need, like, pretty good, like, visual cues. Dude, middle door again? Let's go. Ah, uh, yes, it does. It's, it saves half a time in every 
half a time. Okay, thank you. It saves half a second um, every time it happens, and in this category can happen upwards of four times. Yeah, getting like even like two out of four is technically lucky. So my my gold has three out of four, I think. Um, it's one in three. So I think it's like one in eighty-one or some shit to get it like every single time. Because it'd be 1 in 3, 1 in 9, 1 in 27, and then, yeah, like 1 in 81, I think. I don't think it's been seen before. Put it like that. And already I've gotten two middle doors out of three that I've done total. And that's already, again, like 1 in 9, so it's pretty good. Un but honestly, I was completely fine with not getting middle door. Like, I, I was... Also, yeah, no, uh, for grinding ILs, Knucklehead is arguably the worst because of the... Because half a second's a lot. Um, It also has... um, You know, because on... You're gonna be playing on PAL GameCube for the IL, and it's gonna be, like, you're gonna be doing, like, extremely hard strats that are, like, only barely possible on that version. And, um... It, it, prob it probably is the worst uh, IL to grind at, like, the world record level, um, because even if you do everything right when the tricks are so hard, I, I would argue maybe in terms of difficulty it could be in contention with Sunday, but then the, the fucking middle door RNG just absolutely ruins it, like, even if you play perfectly, you just might not get the time because you get bad RNG, like, that's pretty nasty, you know what I mean? Oh, Casey. How are you doing? Dude, three out of four. That is one in 27. Cannot complain there. Eh, IL grinding can be okay. I guess it depends on, like, how... Uh, how far you want to go with it, I guess. But if you just want to, like get a good time for the console that you're playing on. It's pretty alright. It doesn't take that long, really. Generally, if you're not doing anything crazy, it should never take more than, like, an hour to, like, get your time. Even an hour is, you know, probably, like, half an hour. Alright, if I li if the capture card doesn't disconnect, and if I just don't get hit... In I can get hit in Neptune, I just can't get hit, like, at the end of a thing, or get hit twice. I can get hit once. And I'll still call this an amazing run. I, like, I don't care if I get hit in Neptune. Give me 215, 59.99 or lower, and we will be Gucci. What is going on with my webcam? All right, I already just lost like .4 or some shit, but I don't really care. I skipped the cutscene slow. It was really weird that, like, because I didn't touch anything. It literally just, like, it did look a catch, technically, but luckily it's the gameplay that matters, not the webcam. Alright, that was sketch as fuck. Am I gonna make it? Yeah, I'll make it. I uh, just don't fucking choke. No, please. I mean, that was that was literally the hardest phase, so like I'm probably fine now, but obviously no guarantees. All 
I mean, I'm already down a couple seconds, but again, like, I don't care about that, really. I just want the 215. I don't care how slow of a 215 it is. I didn't even know 215 was fucking possible, so just give me it. I should probably be playing it safe with those hits, but I can't be fucking bothered to play- I mean, playing safe, like, the number of times I've played safe in the past and then kill a run because, like, I choked and playing- like, was playing safe and didn't have the time to make back up for it and just, like, yeah. I'd always try and play safe in plank when going for 129 back in the day and I'd always fuck it up. Dude, I had to, like, readjust my angle just then. Uh, I would be, but it's extremely hard in the first two hits. Because your angle is, like, so fucked. So that's, like, cheap percent exclusive TBH. Uh, no, it's just to make it safer. Because it only loses, like, three seconds to upgrade. And, um, it makes you way less likely to need to get extra health in Nabo and then combat, like, when the enemies are fucking you. So, realistically, it'll save you time, if anything. Only theoretically. And even then, three seconds, not a lot. Anyway, I guess I better stop talking now, because we are at the very final hit. This isn't a great Neptune, but I will certainly take it. That is a fucking amazing run, dude. <laughs> that is actually amazing. I, I, I lost 20 seconds in Navo Ment of getting a fucking trigger, and this is still, like, one of the best runs I've ever done in my life. Dude. <laughs> this this run, almost play, uh... It almost, without the Navo Ment mistake, it almost played as close to the sum of best as fucking no major glitches, and that runs an hour shorter. Almost. There's... You know what, you know what's kind of funny? My nerves kind of died down a lot in Neptune. I guess Knucklehead, like, really helped me, like, chill. I was so fucking nervous in Plank. That was, like, where I was, like, my most nervous was Plank. And then I sort of chilled after Phase 1 in Neptune. I just kind of... I, obviously, I don't know I had it, but I, I kind of knew I had it, you know what I mean? I was like, I was like, alright, this is it, you know? Like, I'd, I'd have to get hit twice at this point. Like, I... <sighs> wow. This is one of the greatest runs I've I just in this game in general, and I missed a fucking checkpoint a trigger in Nether Man. What the fuck, dude? Oh man, fuck me. That's also going. This run is so good, it kind of makes me want to upgrade it. Uh, upgrade, upload it to YouTube, kind of. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Dude, this run is so good. Like, oh my god. It's so good. You wanna know how good it is? I was never read. I was never read the entire time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, how much did I- wait, how much did I lose here? Hold on. Where's Tunnel? I can't find Tunnel. There it is. Oh, wait, no, I didn't lose. No, because I got Spew Boost, didn't I? Yeah, I think I got Spew Boost, so I- yeah, no, I think I did lose, like, 20, actually. No, 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 I didn't lose 20. I lost, like, 15. I lost, like, 15. 
Hold on, I'm gonna edit my message to say I lost 15. All right, so that is in this two hours and 15 minute long run. I, my biggest time loss was 15 seconds in Nato Men to a very, very basic thing. Is that a spider on my wall? Hmm. I just saw a spider go down my bed. Like, I literally just saw it in real time go down my bed. Like... However, it wasn't like the nasty, like, thick ones, you know what I mean? It was like the skinny ones, so I don't care that much. But that, you know, it'd be preferable if that didn't happen. <laughs> but speaking, you know, considering my capture card sh Dude, I almost stopped stream early today, I'm not even joking. Because I kept missing Rubber Dub Skip, and I was like, dude, if I miss it in one more run, I'm fucking- I'm stop- I'm gonna stop streaming. And then- and then, like... 10 attempts like not even 10, like, 8 attempts later I got this. It would be the first all tokens run on my YouTube. I'm just not sure if I will upload it to YouTube, but I want to. I played... I played a minute and 35 seconds off the sum of best. If it weren't for Nado Men, it would have been a minute 20, which is literally almost as good as No Major Glitches. This run, if that thing didn't happen in Nado Men, this might have been better than my No Pulse Storage run. I'm not even fucking with you. Because that run, as amazing as it was, still missed, uh, I think I got a pretty shitty here monster. My boob tube was kind of mid, and I still missed Sunday Jump. This is different. I got both Dennis frames, like... What mistake did I make? I mean, my sandwich driving was kind of not that good. But it was, like, fine. Um... This was obviously bad, but we've already addressed that. Okay, that was actually pretty bad, actually. Um... I forgot about Gask, um, but this was excellent, and this was amazing, and this was really good, this was really good, quite good, really good, um, pretty good, really good, really good, really good, really good, really good, really good, pretty good. If it went for now, though, man, I think this, this just would be, like, the greatest run in movie history, like, no exaggeration there. Maybe it even is, still, because that mistake was really bad. But, like, that and Gask are, like, the only mistakes, and, and, that, and that added up to, like, 19, 20 seconds. 20 seconds of notable time save in 2 hours and 15 minutes. But then again, I give myself a lot more leniency for, like, the combats and shit. And I didn't grab the uh, the BBBH combat warp uh, early. I, I didn't risk it, so I lost, um, like, 4 seconds there. But, yeah, dude... I don't know. Might be the best run of all time. I don't know.